everybody, Anne here, sitting here on my porch having my coffee today. It's a beautiful morning. Oh my goodness, it is just so beautiful. I'm looking out across my porch at my van that is now a chicken coop, a chicken house. It houses chickens. It used to house me, and now it's got my chickens in it, and that makes me so happy, but I am so tired. I did so much work over the last couple days, and luckily a neighbor kid, uh, his name is Cody, he kind of pops over every once in a while, and then he just kind of pitches in and helps me. You'll get to meet Cody someday. And him and his girlfriend came over yesterday, and he helped me kind of get some of the chicken wire up and stuff. So I'm going to show you what that all looks like. Now keep in mind, it's a work in progress. I can't even talk. It's a work in progress, so it's not finished yet. It's It needs some more work, but... I was so worried yesterday about the temperature and last night and everything. I I wasn't sure if the chickens would be okay overnight. The first night, I went into the van and I gathered up the chickens and I actually put them in the little house so that they would know to go up there where I have the little heating mat thingy to keep them warm. But, um, you know, and then I closed the door behind them. So... Last night I opened the door, I kept it open, and they weren't going into the house. They were just going into this one little spot off to the side of the house with the big thick bedding and whatnot, um, and I'll show you that in a little bit. <sighs> but, um, God, I'm so tired, I can't even think. I was just so worried, I kept getting up and down. Well, um, you know Jeff at Bobblehead Homestead, he knows everything about chickens, so I shot him a question because he had just put what he said were a bunch of young chickens out in their coop, and they looked a lot older than mine, so I asked him, you know, how old they were and whatnot, and he explained to me that if it stays above 60 degrees at the age my chickens are now, which is about four weeks, um, they should be just fine out there outdoors. Um, so that kind of gave me a little bit of relief, but nevertheless, I still got out there in the dark with my flashlight just to kind of look at them and see if they were doing okay, and they were all huddled together in that little spot they like to go to. And then I got up this morning, and they were just chirping happily, just hunting and pecking for food. So I left them some, I, I gave them some salmon. Oh my goodness, you guys. I know there's chicken purists out there that say, you don't feed your chickens anything else but chicken feed. Uh, I do feed them lots of chicken feed. But I also supplement with a little bit of extra protein because the chicken feed that they've got is only 16%. It needs to be about 20 or 21%. So every day I supplement them with a little bit of extra protein. But anyhow, oh, I need to go. I need to get washed up. I need to brush my hair. And then I've got some more things that I've got to get done today. There she is. There's the chicken mobile. Yes, the chicken mobile. It used to be the granny mobile. Now it's the chicken mobile. Now keep in mind that this is not finished. Uh, yesterday we, Cody and I, just kind of got this together just to see what I needed. And so this is the result for now. I don't like this chicken wire because it's really kind of hard to work with. Getting in and out, I have to fuss with it too much. So I'm thinking of getting something kind of plasticky maybe, that would be easier for me to move around and get in and out of. Either way, uh, I'm going to have to get some more chicken wire because that up there, I don't know, I don't think they can get out, but it probably needs another layer of chicken wire or something to go up there. But I like to be able to leave this these two doors open during the day and look at look at what they've done already. <laughs> Ooh, hello, baby chicken. How are you doing? Hi, chickens. You gonna get something to eat? I'm not gonna go inside the van right now. Oh, there they are. You think I'm bringing you food? I already brought you food and you ate it all up. So this is going pretty well. Oh, I need to close those, those drawers. I am going to use that file cabinet for a little while. I may take one of the drawers out so they can hop into the other one. I'll put some bedding down in there. Maybe they'll nest in there and lay me some eggs. I don't know. And then there's the little box with the dirt in it and I haven't seen any of them in there flopping around yet but hopefully they will eventually. It looks like underneath of here the water has dried up. I guess they just get in there and track water outside of it. I need to rinse that water bowl out but they are doing really 
really exceptionally well. They did great last night. They just stopped and, well, I can't show you here, but they get in this one little spot by a wheel well, and they kind of dig a little, you know, a little nest in there, and they just all curled up, and I don't even think I need to use the heat lamp, or not the heat lamp, the heat pad anymore. But anyway, for right now, I've just got this chicken wire clipped. With these clips, they're very, very strong clips. And I've got it all the way down to here. The only problem is, is I have to remove this little clip at night so that I can close the door. Um, same with over here. And I've just clipped it on. So when I need to get in, all I do is unclip this part and I kind of bring it over to here and then I can get it in and out without any problems. So it's working good so far. Nobody has eloped. Nobody has escaped. Oh, oh, you're going to hop in there. Oh, look, look. Oh, I wish we could see up inside. Here, let me see if I can get this up over here. Oh, come on, little birdie. Come on, chicken. Hang on. Are you going to take a little dust bath? Nope, you just pecking around in there. <laughs> you just do you, chicken. Oh, I just love watching them. Okay, let me take you around the back. This is the view from the back. I've got chicken wire all the way up to there. That little cord is going to be taken out. It is the little heating pad, and I don't think they need it anymore. Oh, look at their start. Oh, oh, somebody got up on top. See, I told you they can fly. Oh, my goodness. Yes, so I'll be taking this out, and it goes all the way down to here. This door doesn't open, but I keep the window open so there's plenty of ventilation. So far, it seems to be working just fine. I can't believe you got all the way up there. <laughs> I guess you've been up here before. There's evidence. Yes, there's evidence. See, this stuff up here. Oh, somebody did a fresh one right there. It's hard to clean, but uh, just get a scrub brush and clean it on up. And over here is the spot right kind of like in there that they like to go and kind of curl up and that's where they sleep at night time. So yeah, this is the, the back side. Anyhow, the inside of that door, the pulley, I still have the pulleys, but the little case that the pulleys go into is cracked, so I'd have to totally replace that whole thing to be able to get the door to open and not really care. I think it's just fine just the way it is. And there is chicken wire all the way across so that they can't hop up here and get out. So that's good. And it's looking, it's looking okay. What I'd like to do eventually is encase this entire van area and a little bit beyond in some kind of fencing so they can go in and out. Um, or I might just may make a yard and cover up the bottom part of the van right here so that they can come down some kind of ramp or something and just make this be the whole yard. And so that they can get out and kind of graze a little bit and whatnot. Um, so I don't know. I'm still brainstorming different ideas on what to do with this. But for right now, it's making a great chicken coop. Here's the view from this side of the van. Nothing too interesting. But I just wanted to show you how full the front is. It is completely full with, oh, insulation. I've got some fishing gear in there and whatnot. Once I get all that stuff out, I would like to remove the seats and make that just more room for the chickens and then use that door to access, you know, to go in and out and maybe cover this window with chicken wire and just leave the window down so that there's even more ventilation. But so far, this is working out really, really wonderfully. I've moved Judy's lead to go over this way um, and it's still causing problems, but I'll figure out a good way to let her roam almost free. She's still not at the point yet where she comes back when I call her. There's a little chicken house. Another thing I had considered with that little chicken pen is finding a way, just for right now, to be able to make an enclosed ramp of some kind that comes out, that goes directly into the little chicken yard and just putting the chicken yard right here so that they can get out and romp around in it. So I don't know how I'm going to accomplish that yet, but <sighs> I'm very, very happy. But what's more is the chickens seem really happy. They just seem to love hunting and pecking around in there and flying. They've got plenty of room. 
I've still got more work to do on it and I've got to work out some kinks and I've got to build the chicken yard and whatnot. So any suggestions that you have that are offered in a kind and supportive way, please give me suggestions. If you've got any suggestions for what I can put across this that is going to be easier to work with than chicken wire, that would be great. Um, I may have to buy some more chicken wire because that what I've got up there are just like kind of like scraps and remnants from the little chicken yard that I was using for them. So it would be cool if I could get one piece of something to go from this end to that end that is easily pulled back and put back on without me getting all scratched up with the chicken wire and whatnot. So if you've got any ideas for that, let me know. But yeah, I think it's working out great. And I'm so glad that I'm able to use this van for something. Uh, using it for storage was, was good, but I don't want to accumulate a whole lot of things. I only want to keep the things that I, that I use on a regular basis. I don't want to just have a, a van filled up with tons and tons of stuff that I never use. So the chickens get it. The van's not running right now. I think what my plans are going to be is to part it out and uh, sell the engine. I know that some people are interested in that kind of engine. It's got a 300 i6 and they say that they're practically indestructible. So um, I'll think about selling all that stuff later. But for right now, the chickens are doing absolutely great. I can already tell one thing for sure right now. Betty's lead goes all the way over to this tree and there are all kinds of different vines that are growing all over it. And I caught her earlier rolling around in these weeds right here. I'm pretty sure some of them are poison ivy, so I've got to get rid of that. And also, look at this girl. This is Betty's old harness. It could not contain Betty. She just was a funny size. It didn't work for her, and I forgot I even had it until I went and cleaned out the van. Judy chewed through her harness, and it is no longer functional, so I don't like this harness. I don't like it at all. It doesn't seem like it's comfortable for the dog, but I'm going to use it in for the time being. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll do this. Nah, I'm not going to do it for this video, but I'm going to clear this area of all these weeds. Got to get the machete out. Oh, my goodness. Another thing I need to do is find a better spot for this because Judy could get to it when it was located over here, and I don't want her eating my beauty berries. I am going to pull these cucumbers. If there's any cucumbers on it that I can use, that's great. I'm going to pull them all out, and I'm going to make plant something else in here. And I'm going to pull all that lettuce out and try and plant something else in there too. And I'm going to move this chicken yard over by the van. So, yeah, that'll all be for the next video. Oh, joy. Aren't you guys excited? Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.